one time there to get your kick. I don't know if y'all could hear, hear that, but what's up, family? Looking to change out this system. Taking out this uh, old BLX system. This thing, old, old dinosaur. Three mil to the top. Two screws holding in the motor. Three millimeter. Hopefully I can just slide this motor right out without taking off the side guard. put a bigger one and the good thing about the other motor I have is on the same style motor mount so I could just slide the one this one right in there let's see BLX motor, check this out. The dinosaur, but this was a beast for bashing. This was a nice motor, still runs. Until they switch to the, they switch to the Spectrum systems. This is what they run now. What's up to everybody in the chat? This the, uh, the Italian, bro. What's up, Flaw? Uh, Flo, Flo Grown? Yeah, it's Italian. They look just alike, though. Might well see. That's what it is. All right, so. I got to take off this damn side guard. Flip it upside down. It's a whole bunch of scratches, but you can, you can, uh, you can paint this shit with that rhino line of stuff, and it'll come back right. Or you just get chassis. Uh, chassis wraps. Let's see what size that is. It's like a two millimeter. You know, you just electric screwdriver. I actually want to go get me a new electric screwdriver. 
I seen a Dewalt one I want to get. So you gotta take out four screws. Make sure y'all like the video. Appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all share it live too, man. That help the video get out there. Put the screws to the side. Take the side guard off now. Now I can slide that motor right in there. clean up that and we can put a new one down uh let's see what pinion i want to run though what side pinion do i want to run i might want to do a 20 i like the way them 20s be giving it the business uh -oh. we got gears on deck gears on deck Finally, I'm always searching for gears. I just went gear crazy one day. All right, so this is the five millimeter shaft. I got eight millimeter and, and five millimeter shaft gears in here. All right, that's a 22 two pin. Let's go on here. I'll show y'all the difference though. season and parts here y'all know it's a 23 too you don't want to go too high because your uh your motor can run uh the temperature run hot oh no and you have to run a fan and all this other shit all right let's see we're going for a 22 it's a 21 they don't want to run a 21 they're just gonna be crazy Standing back flips all day long. Armor, baby. Yep. Definitely is. I love them armor cars, bro. They they one of my favorites. Let's see if I got a 22 in it. No, that's 8 millimeter. Let's see what's in here. 22, 21, 
24, 25. So, yeah, I'm going to just, I'm going to go with this uh, 21. I'm going to throw a, a big fan on it. That's what I'm going to have to do. I know that sucker going to run hot. The lower your opinion, the less heat. But the slower it is. Don't nobody like that slow shit. So any shaft, that grub screw. And then also you have to line this shit up with your, the, uh, to get a perfect mesh, I'm gonna show y'all too. You wanna line it up with your, uh, spur gear. But how I know, there's a lot of people that use the paper method, but how I do it is I'll put the gear next to it. If you put it too close to it, you're not going to get the cling from your, it's a cling noise that you get from the uh, spur gear when you're moving it back and forth. There's no clinging right there, right? So I'll get it like almost, I'll get that bit just right, show you. That right there. That's what you want. That right there is what you want. That's going to be a perfect mesh for us, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. I'm telling you. Do it every time. Go ahead and lock that sucker down. Where you got it at? Boom. One. Uh oh. Lock it down. Make sure you still got the same mesh. Nah, that came loose a little bit on me. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect right there. So now you wanna sit your ESC. Alright. Then you wanna do your wire management. So what we're gonna have to do here, we got wires everywhere. So this is the fan wire. We're gonna slap that straight across there. Straight across there, but I'm noticing this ain't sticky anymore. So we gotta get that up. And put a new piece under the let's find that double side sticky tape first. Just 
going to be a piss if you don't. I know I got plenty of it. I mean, I can use this gray one. I like to use the Gorilla one. The Gorilla tape one. But this will do it for right now. This will do. But you got to let this shit. Um, I heard heating it up to work. You got to let this shit dry. Like. Not dry, but. It's going to sit overnight anyway, so I ain't worried about this one. Let's hook it up, see. All right, so I'm gonna tell y'all, if y'all don't know, uh, if you don't know where to plug it in into your receiver, if it doesn't say throttle or, uh, or steering, it'll say one, two, three, four, however many channels you have on your receiver. But to know which one is throttle and which one is uh, steering, one a turn, two to burn. That's how I remember that. So channel one will be for turn, and channel two will be for gas. That's how you remember that. Turn this around. This is a fan, so we can put this in any channel besides one and two. So we're gonna put this in channel five. There are five channels on this. And you will see a, a plus sign or a negative sign that tells you which way your hot and brown goes. I'll plug that in channel five. 
Okay. So then we're gonna change. Put this in number two because my steering is already in channel one. Want to turn to the burn. Number two. Bam. Let's plug a battery in there to make sure we have throttle and reverse and all that other crap before you button it all up. Should it be aggravating? Do it two minutes time. turn on your remote before you turn on the car see if we got screen right now almost looked at loose. I meant bent. Definitely got some gold now. This thing ain't gonna definitely, definitely haul butt. I wanna check that, cause that's, that's pretty good. It is. Oh, I'm from 
from Florida, bro. I'm like 20 minutes outside of uh, Daytona Beach, Florida. In between Daytona Beach and um, Orlando, Florida. Where you from, bro? Y'all put where y'all from in the chat, man. First gen, what's up, fam? <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. Putting them together. Uh-oh. Florida in the building, baby. Fort Walton. That's crazy because I don't know nothing about Fort Walton. They're from Florida. I'm going to look it up, though. But we got all kind of cities in Florida. Bitch don't be knowing nothing about it. It's good, though. By distance, okay. You know, we country out here in Florida. <laughs> we country. There's all kind of little cuts out here in Florida. I got to put that little side panel back on, too. I've been working on this uh, E-Revo. I love that E-Revo, bro. I need another one. That 2.0. I just got on a trade plus my two drag cards. For real. That's what's up, bro. Louis, Louis Bill, Kentucky. That's what's up. R.C. Ryan, what's up, bro? Damn. Kentucky in the building. Yes, sir. That's dope, man. We got R.C. Gary down with well. Shit, it's so many of us. People just don't be knowing about us. We 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 really big time, for real, for real. Like where I'm from, a lot of people don't they don't be bringing out their RC until I started doing YouTube and TikTok and all that other shit and throwing throwing my own events. You don't really see people out playing their RC. I be the main person out going anywhere. I don't care where I go at, bro. I will go get it in anywhere. My people be like, boy, you a fool, boy. I don't care. I started to pull my RC out at the school the other day. I swear. I don't be caring, man. I, I just be enjoying it. We be doing it too, man. Shit. Before I started, me and my, my, my brother Coach D with the with the drag racing, hosting our own events. Bro, wasn't nobody really doing that shit. They were not doing it. And then once I slowed down, they they took over. But I'm finna start hosting the off road event out here in um Probably uh, DeBerry, Florida. DeBerry, Florida. Um, yeah, I'm going to start hosting my own off-road event. I'm just waiting on my brother to make me two more uh, ramps. And I'm going uh, I'm to get a whole bunch of cones. We're going to do off-road drag racing. Drag racing and... Um, Send it. You can send it, send your RCs, bro. 
and just have a good time. You know, it's different from drag racing on the street. That drag racing on the street is very technical. Very technical. You gotta be with that shit. Yeah. And for me, I'm a I'm a you know I'm a content creator, so I'll be out there just having fun. I'll be winning. <laughs> I'll be up <having coughs> and losing. But uh I just be <coughs> having a ball doing it. I don't care if I win or lose. Really. <coughs> I'm out there having a ball, they be I know they be hot with me when I be winning. <laughs> I swear. I would be hot with me too if you very technical and I'd be out there winning. I'll slap a system in my car and, and, and get on a big ass. No tuning. <laughs> that shit be crazy, bro. And talk shit. But I really just plan. Yeah, you gotta have them bitches right. Yeah, for real, bro. I never forget when my, and I, that's when I first learned you had to have a wheelie bar. But man, I did a, a a wheelie with my arm and limitless. How you see them cars on on here where they smoke them damn tires and the car do a wheelie? My shit did that. I got a video of it on YouTube. It was dope. But after that, I had to get a wheelie bar. I actually got a, I, I got a limitless bill right now, bro. I'll show y'all right quick. I'll show you my limitless bill right quick. Hold on. Let me grab that hoe. All right. I can ride this tomorrow. I got a little spot. I'm going to take this. I'm going to show y'all. Because I'm going I'm to I'm 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 make the video. You know, anywhere I go, I make, I'm making videos. I got an armor limitless here. Yeah. Armor limitless. I was messing around with this body shit. Made my own servo uh, mount. Because I didn't want that whole uh, big box here. Made my own servo mount. I'm running uh this oh this one of the motors that's a uh a eight millimeter shaft this is a 2400 kb motor it's good for speed runs i doubt it's good for drag racing but i was gonna try it i don't care really i just buy a big system and i go out there and play man the limitless is a beast bro and it's got me pissed off though right now because I done bought this, uh, which I, I could, I, I could put it back together. Cause you know, in drag racing, people run spools. And then this, um, spool I got on here, the grub screw came out. I was going to just run a diff in mine, to tell you the truth. So here we go right here, actually. So you, you, you buy the smaller tooth, uh, diff differential for the armor cars. And you just slap that in there, you race this bitch if you're playing around. Usually they use these for drifting or just bashing. I used this before with drag racing, bro. So I'm running the XL2. I got the XL2. Um, this connect right here to my cat pack. Let me see if I can cat pack right quick. There we go. So yeah, we got a cat uh ripper killer cat pack, man. Y'all check him out. That's uh my brother Philip Jolly, man. 8S Ripper Killer Cat Pack. A damn light, bright as hell. Yeah, that's the 8S Ripper Killer Cat Pack, though. But, 
or had it upside down. I don't know. It's backwards on the phone, I guess. Whatever. But you connect that right here. Everybody do it differently, but you can connect that here. Connect your battery here. Battery tray back there. Boom. Tighten all that shit down and get it in. But right now, as of now, I haven't been riding it because uh, this would be dope as hell if, this, if I could put this body on here. Wouldn't it be? It will be dope. And that'll be dope. But uh, I got the limitless body up there for it. I was just messing around. But I'm going to take this spool out, which I probably should do right now. Yeah, let me do that right now. That's probably 2.5 millimeter. I gotta, I gotta fix that, uh, I gotta fix that spoon, irregardless, the grub screw went somewhere, I don't know where they went, so, I might as well just slap this dip in there. Until I put some bigger, uh, the big grub screws, so those got big. I don't know if I got any grub screws that size. I'm not gonna look. I'm gonna buy the grub screw kit with this. You can buy screws and grub screws. Here you go, right here. This bitch would have came off your whole dog bone, everything would have came off. And the crazy part with these, look at that, both of them off, both ends, loose as hell. You know, you could buy the aftermarket ones, which I probably end up doing. But this just is the stock armor uh, spool. Uh, I was just trying to run, bump this. I'm going to slap my deal for now. Oh, I can't, I forgot. I'm running. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I can run that. I can run that. I can run that. I'll have to move my my motor over and I would have to put that pinion gear back. But you gotta make sure them two line up. So this is a two and a half. Two and a half millimeter. That's a big ass yeah. Alright. Put the dog bone back on. Make sure you put the dog bone into your into your I'm about to move that motor around too, I'm thinking. I don't know the wires ain't in there. There you go. I'm about to change that drive shell. That bit either loose back here or bent. It might be loose. I'm seeing the grub screw. I got a whole uh, drive shaft kit, I believe, right here. Oh no, it didn't come with the, the center. I could order it though. This comes with the, the CBDs. But, let me show you right quick. I'm gonna put this back. You wanna line up your, your uh, pinion gear with your spur. Put that there, there. That's too big, so we got to turn this gear around because it's hitting that that motor mount. As long as it'll tighten up on there. Yep. As long as it'll tighten up on that uh, shaft. Yep. Let's do this. Oh, we might 
might be too far. So, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. We'll figure it out, but anyway. Got that perfect mesh I was telling you about. You want to hear that noise right there. A lot of people use the paper, though. Like I said, I don't. I will. My shit, my shit be running. do what it do have you seen the new uh belt drive kits i seen them bruh i seen them um i got one on my x max they them belt drives get on my damn nerve bruh i ain't gonna lie to you the belt comes loose on them so that's the part that bothers me like you have so much power that you always snatching something off of the 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 either the chassis or the the piece that holds down the spur gear you snatching that up it's just i don't know bro it's just like on my x max that's how it is i don't know how it is on the on the cars but it was a pain in the ass and i can imagine with a belt um they're fast as shit but um you loosen that belt at the time of this. These things got a lot of power, lots of power, bro. So snatching, 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 it's gonna loosen up that belt. Definitely. Start the car. <laughs> it ain't gas, but it's, it it ain't gas, but it'll get on your ass. Let me see. You gotta find the right battery. Bitch, yeah, eight ass. Oh shit, I gotta find my connector. This will beat your real car. Yeah, for real, for real. This will beat your Tesla. This will beat your drag car. This will beat your Formula One car. <laughs> Straight up. Them damn RCs is fast as shit. Now I gotta find my connectors, bro. Here we go. Big heavy bitch. They be here heavy. No QSA plugs. It ain't nothing but the truth, bro. Formula One car right here. Uh, let's see. I got this on this remote. This is my uh, DX5 Pro. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they do, bro. They do. Yeah, but you got to know it, you know. You got to know what you're doing, bro.
Oh shit, man, I'm about to fuck up. Fuck it with shit. Ain't even tight down my thing up here, bro. But my spur gear, spur gear about to haul ass off this bitch. Hold on, bro. It will catch fire though, bro. For real. Say you put something in back, but yeah. Can't blow some shit up now. Or you run this shit too hot. Run this shit too hot, you want to. This call that ready to get on your ass right here. That's called on your ass. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, that's 8S too. Damn. So I will have to mount this shit in here. That's another thing too. I need to find somewhere I need I can mount everything. Damn. Ain't no space for all the batteries. So what I was thinking about was just buying me one 8S battery and just running it on the I could just hook up one 4S pack. That's what I could do. A one 6S pack. I beat you with 6S on this motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. That shit, that shit really fast on 6S because a lot of people, a lot of people try to go over overpower not knowing that you gotta put that power to the ground you can't you can't just overpower some shit you got to put that power to the ground These two right here will be easy to run. Strap everything down. Boom, put your cap back on top of this. Because the, the, the main thing is uh, your body needs to be able to go over this still. Which what I'm finna do is run, I'm finna run GT body. That's what I'm finna be running, GT. Kick that still get on your ass. And I need to change the battery on my remote. Low battery. That one thing I need to do too, I want to put a, a lipo battery in this. Instead of running them on um, some double A. That shit get on my damn nerve. Them damn double A. I always happen to change that shit. I'd rather run a lipo, which I'm gonna get online here in a few minutes. Oh, did you hear that? See, that's what the cat pack do. Also, is even if you unplug your battery, the cat packs hold a, a, a little charge in these, and that shit was still going <laughs> crazy. But this is so you don't do as much cogging with these uh from the voltage of the ESC. Important, important, important. Where is the strongest between the engine or the electricity? I'll tell you, bro, the RC Texas. That shit will outrun them motherfuckers. Shit, they'll be mad with me trying to chase one of these RCs. I'm gonna do that one day, put FPV on mine, 
and we running the police. I'm gonna put police lights on my shit, and they gonna be mad. They got to come catch me, homie. Huh? They got to go off road with me and every damn thing. They ain't gonna want no smoke, bruh. Where is the strongest? Where is the strongest between the engine or the electricity? The strongest what? What the fast you have run? I went a hundred. I ain't really tried no more after that, bro. I like doing uh social media videos. I ain't no speed running. I did a hundred and that motherfucker went airborne on my ass and I tore up everything. I said the hell that speed run shit. That shit hard. Cause once that car come past you doing a hundred, I commend them guys that's out there doing that shit. When that car come past you doing a hundred mile power, boy, you better be paying attention. Straight up. Cause that car it's either it, it could go airborne or you lose control and your car is done. That's why you see a lot of guys out there, they call catch old fire. It's from shit like that. It's not from just plugging in shit. It's from them running too hot of a temperature. They done ran a car a few times and they should have known to sit the bitch down. It's just it's all kind of things that could cause a fire. Or running your your uh, or charging your battery on nickel metal hydrate instead of lipo, you know all kind of shit, bro. It, but yeah, I did a hundred mile power with mine. I might get back out there again and do it again. When I was doing it, you could check out my YouTube videos on on the speed runs I used to do. Um, the road we was on was very narrow, bro. Very, that was sketchy as hell. So I'm, I think if I do it on a wider road, then I'll be okay. But where we were, oh boy, it was ditches on both sides of the road. Yeah, that wasn't it. Bro. That wasn't it for me, bro. Yeah, that was that was horrible, bro. I ain't like that at all. Hey, a thousand likes. I appreciate y'all, man. For real. Appreciate y'all. Sorry I wasn't paying attention the whole time. But yeah, I got, man, I got drag cars. I got, got down. Tracks is UDR. I got, I got to put my, my, my CBD back on him. I got the Mojave right there. Off-road buggy. Got another off-road buggy. Got my Outcast AS. Uh, my Techno ET48. Uh, Traxxas Max, my X Max, my boat. Yeah, I got, I got a little bit of shit. I got a little bit of shit. I got an XRT that I'm paying on right now. That's another thing too, man. A lot of people are like, oh, it's expensive, expensive. You ain't got to pay all that money up front, shit. Pay payment. Go put some money down on it and keep doing that shit. Every few months or every month, put some more money on it. And when your ass done, then you got you another car. People are like, oh, get on my damn nerves. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, man, um, I got the X Max. We have to uh change the the rear bulkhead on it, and that's gonna be a nice little jaw right there. So uh, next time I get on live. That's probably what I'll be doing is changing that rear bulkhead. Uh, this sound of a gun right here. Fuck that. But, yeah. X Max, your ass next. That, that, that's underneath there? The fire truck? I was going to put that body on there. Or either I got a four-wheeler body underneath there. I was thinking about putting that on there and putting a Chucky doll or something on, on top of it and do some video. But it's I commend those guys too. That's a pain in the ass situation also. It's hard.
cutting the body up and getting it to mount. You got to change the mounts and everything to hook it to the body. So, I commend everybody that do their thing, man. But, yeah. I'm finna get up out of here, man. Y'all stay tuned with your boy, uh, Be On. We're going to do the, the bulkhead next. Um, I should have went ahead and did the CBD, but we'll do... We'll do the CBD first on the on the on the fire team, and then we'll do the bokeh the same night, at the, at the, right after that, cause that ain't shit out. Just put that uh, CBD in, put the uh, axle hub back on, put the tire back on, and, and the and the fire team done. Hell, I might even do it before I get on. But yeah, man, I'm gonna check y'all next time. I appreciate y'all tuning in with me, man. Much love and respect, man. Make sure y'all like the videos. Share them bitches. Man, make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel because I do the full I do full uh videos on there. So I'm gonna catch y'all next time, bruh.